Sports Network, welcome to Counter Diary. Counter Diary, we are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. My name is Emmanuel Kotu. On today's edition of the program, we are in West Point and we are looking at the lifestyle of the people here in West Point. What do they ready to? So when we talk about fishing community in Liberia, one of the areas you have to run on is West Point. So let's see exactly how West Point looks like. This is Counter Diary. We are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. Keep watching. I can we stay in West Bay like I told you from our intro. This is the major street here in West Point, and this is one of the most lively areas in Liberia. Uh, when you talk about some good things, uh, Barty, whatever it is, they come from right here at West Point. We have produced football players, um, national leaders, representatives. They all come from this West Point. But as a stand, the uh, erosion is taking over. As they see some folks here, they're also selling different things And uh, when it comes to West Point. But um, we are here. We try to see if we can speak to some guys from West Point to tell us exactly how it's life like in this part of Liberia. So keep watching. This is Counter Diary. We are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. Let me see if I can uh, talk to some of these guys who are here already. Tell me, how is life like in West Point? Uh, life is not bad in West Point. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what do you do here? Uh, I go to school. You West go to school? Yeah. And uh, but normally people tell that, you know, when you're in West Point, uh, you don't have things like maybe uh, bathroom, toilet, and facility, all these things. Uh, how do you got manage here? Uh, we go to the riverside to use the bathroom. You go to the riverside to use the bathroom? Yes. And then how do you take back? We go to the same riverside. Do you pay money? Because I learned that, that people pay money here to, you know, to do all of these things. Yeah, we pay money at the bathroom to take bath and do it ourselves. How much do you pay? $20. $20? Yes. For water? Hard water or cold water? Hard water. Cool water, we pay $10. Okay, man. Thanks for talking to me, my brother. Uh, nice to meet you. All right, so let me see if I can talk to a chief. I don't know why he's ready to talk to me. Uh, let me just go closer to him and see. I mean, I'm telling you a favor. You want to talk to me today? How are you, sir? But I'm still here. How are you, Chief? I'm fine. Okay, my name is Emmanuel Kotu. I do a program called Counter Diary, and uh, we have a camera. What I just, as, you know, uh, we're talking about life in West Point today. Uh, talking about, you know, uh, uh, life in West Point today. Uh, so, what's your name? Uh, I'm Roosevelt Blambo. Roosevelt Blambo. Yeah. How long have you been living in West Point? <laughs> I was born here and I stay here. You were born here and you stay here. Yeah. So tell me, how is life like for those of you who were born here uh, uh, and then you stay here? Life is quiet, very cool, and people moving on a normal basis. And there is no, like, somebody, you know, suffering and just me, me. Everybody, people are just moving. They are business people, they are working people, they are students everywhere. And that being we say business people, what kind of business do you guys do here? Now, example, to what I said now, okay. or to where we sit, there's a shop here. This guy sells drink sells water. All right. There's another entertainment center here. And you find another business area here, people selling scratch cards and selling dates. And there's another one in front of you there. So there are so many businesses. Uh, uh, before I came down to West Point, Atlanta, this is a very big uh, fishing community. Yeah. The fishing, you got a fishing community down what they call Fountain Town. This is Central West Point. You just talk about the cohort and the police station in the central West Point. All right, there somebody may be watching and stating that West Point is not like before. What's your message to them? Because I understand again that uh, sea erosion is taking over West Point, and some of you were asked to relocate. Yeah, but the sea erosion is not only just West Point, it's everywhere. All right, let's just forget about Liberia. Even in other countries, sea erosion is there, it is serving other countries. Why is true sea erosion affected West Point enough? So, and people relocated and other people stay here. So, I don't know. Because of the sea erosion, other people left their area and went to different, different places. Those who were affected by the sea erosion and those who were not affected, we are still here. So, you stay watching. We've just uh, reached to uh, uh, Fanti Town and uh, I've seen, they said that Don Garling, you know, uh, 104 block A uh, is a place and it's, you see here yeah, the people are selling wood and all the stuff 
I've been so yeah. But I've tried to talk to you know one of the uh, ladies that is selling this food, and uh, she's been talking to me, even though she says she wants up plenty. Uh, well, how are you doing? I'm fine. Yo. Okay, so what's your full name? How are you, man? How long you been living in West Point? Wow, well, almost thirty years. You've been living here for thirty years. Yes. And uh, you sell this uh, this wood. Yes. So tell me, how much you sell the wood? Where you get it from? I get it from Firestone, Santa Bomi. Okay. And how is the wood business here? Mm. You know, about if see that customer can't buy, but now no fee, so our business tough. So no fees now, business tough for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but normally, how much you can sell the wood? Eh? Mm, we get some two thousand. We get some one five. Now get special press. We get some one fifty. We get some two hundred. We get some hundred along. And uh, people buying when when there is how do you call it? When, when fish come down, when fish come buy, down. Yes. So your customer are they the people that are drying the fish or yes, the yes, the people that are drying the fish. Yes, they're my customer. Okay, but uh, beside they will tell me how is life like in West Point? Mm. It's difficult for oil small. Mm. Because yeah, now nah, you know West Point and fish and fish can hold West Point. Mm. So don't no ah. fish, no business. So it's not easy on where to. All right, man. Thanks for talking to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So thank you. So, uh, uh, Mahawa finished talking to me now. I will just show you uh, these are uh, the, the wood that are being sold here. And you can see everywhere here, uh, they're selling wood. But let me talk to the gentleman behind here. Let me talk to this man. Uh, yeah, let me talk to uh, my brother here. Let me ask him what I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm from Liberia. How are you, Chief? Great, as usual. Okay, so what's your name? My name is uh, William Gardner from Ghana. William Ghana, where are Ghana? Yes, me, Ghana. What are you from? Maybe Cape Coast. Cape Coast, where are Fantine? You know, oh, Fantine. okay, Medin Emmanuel. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay. So, the, uh, tell me, uh, Obede Waha? Ah, uh, you be paid, you make a cry, Obede Waha. Where are you, Fisherman? Me, 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 but, eh, in an auto, na ya, eh, they call, na ya, papa, you understand? Oh, okay. When they buy the wool, carry in, they split it, and then, that's how I will make an end. Okay, so, how long have you been here? Probably, let's say, 10 years. 10 years, you've been in Liberia for 10 years. Yes. And course. you are here doing this work. Precisely. And tell me, how is life like in Liberia? Well, uh, ups and down, and, and sometimes, you know, we just, uh, it, it, it's a little bit tough, but we, we're trying to cope with the situation. But we know things will be better. You All know, right. since Liberia has been um, out of war for 14 years, and, you know, things, it, it, it's, it's, it's picking up. Great. Right, Johnny, speaking up. Yeah. All right, if, if, if you have a brother in Ghana who says, uh, I want to go to Liberia, what's your message to them? Man, you can come, but uh, it's really tough. It's not as you think it will be. Really tough here, yeah, but you it's, can still make it. I'll say, I had Kaka. Kaka, Kaka. I had Kaka. I uh, I'm just testing my fancy scale. Let me speak to Mama. Mama, yeah. how are you? I'm fine. Why are you? My name is Elizabeth C. My name is Elizabeth C. You can speak fancy too? No. Mm. Hey. I grew up. I grew up. Uh, grew up. Woman. Uh, I'm No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So how you can say hello in, in Grebo? Now we are. Now we are, Mama. Okay. So uh, how how is life here? Yeah. They last mm. when you not say we tell God thank you, but they been there and not easy. So how long you been living here, my Elizabeth? In West Point? Yeah. Uh -huh. More like twenty five years. And what you do here? I sell in wool. Mm. I sell in wool, but now the way how they go do the wool been there again. Oh. We suffering right now. Only let me are in a six year old and says selling who and that. Oh, my mama will. I mean, hug you. God bless you, mama. I want to tap into your blessing. Yeah, it is six year old. That's one thing. Yeah, I pray to live, uh, you know, to be in a six. All right, so tell me about the 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 the, the wood business. You say, how you do that? The wood business, no, fee not coming. So, no, no, been there. But the way how the government do the the thing, mm. the people who are putting the wood, they the put for buffy, so we get in hard time to sell. Now, now, I sit down here and I get food to eat. So, so what you want? What you want for government to do now? Because they say they play the four buffy and I play now for children in West Point to be playing, mm. and you say they put feed there and no way for you to sell. What you want for government to do? Yeah, to find play for to sell to make the play big. So the other player, but they play bigger. They play small. Okay. 
All right, my respect. Thanks for talking to me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So it's not. All right. Thank you. Um. My Elizabeth is 86 years old. She's yeah. telling me she's 86 years old yeah. and she's sell who here in West Point yeah. and uh, life is not easy. Keep watching. This is Counter Diary. We are telling the untold stories of Liberia. Keep watching. <music> Okay, folks, so after talking to the folks who are selling the wood and we come to where they sell the wood, uh, these are the people you see around here. This is the service pier in West Point, uh, West Africa, uh, to be precise, Liberia. So we are going in there uh, to talk to them. How is business like? Those who are selling fish, those who are drying fish, uh, how you doing? All right, so let me move in here. So um, uh, when you get in here, the first, the first uh, you know, thing that you see uh yeah you see the fire is blazing fire is blazing here and then uh what you also see that you see the fish i know the camera will just show that the fish over there uh then uh we're trying to move on so you have a lot of uh dryer around here i don't know the kind of fish they dry here i'm trying to reach out to you know somebody but i want to see some of the wood let the camera come closer so that we see that so i want to see some of the wood here and uh a lady is also here trying to you know dry fish and that's exactly what they're doing let me see if i can go closer to her and uh, when you get there you also see fish all around the place uh mama, how are you doing oh. all right so like i said my name is Emmanuel Kotu. Mama, what kind of fish are you drying here bonnie bonnie fish so what's your full name just now we said all right just now and um the fish that you put in here where you got it from Coast from cold story uh i thought you can get it from the beach yeah the beach don't bring fish for them why did not bring fish? For the moon. Okay, so but how often you can bring fish here? For the moon going down there. For the moon going now. So I see that this seems to be like a, it seems to be like a you know a, a different layer. Mm -hmm. The fish and down you put in another one away. Mm -hmm. So when you finish putting the fish, what is one? How long it will take you for you to finish drying it? It will take me two hours. Two hours for the thing to dry. Mm -hmm. It will dry real fish. Two hours. Wow. So uh, on a daily basis, how many fish you can dry? So now we can draw when I see when I see mm. when I see bony. Mm. We can draw so now nine bed, so mm. ten. Wow, the sea bony nine bed, mm. and that nine bed. Now which of the bed? How many fish can be inside? Mm. How many fish can be in that one? Mm. Three hundred. Mm. Two hundred. Wow. So now, uh, uh, what are you doing? Are you trying to take out the bamboo, yeah, the, the bamboo pull to pull it? Here. Okay, and uh, I want to help you how to do it. How you can do it? I'm gonna taste on the barbell and bring it. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I see my sister says she's coming. I'm gonna move from here. We're talking with it. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna bring some. All right. Let me help my sister. Here. Oh, all right. So, and how do we do it? So we lay over the fish. They want some fish, and I'm gonna bring some more. Okay. So, so when you lay that day, the fish, it can stick together. No. Okay. All right, so she says she's gonna dry the fish for the next two hours, and um, you can where eat fish. Mm -hmm. By the way, they say boy, I can play with fish. You're not like eating fish. You can eat bunny. Why you can eat it? I get appetite for it. Oh, you can get appetite for it. All right, thank you so much for talking to me. So when you finish drying it in here, right? Uh, um, how much you can get from all of it? Like when you sell it. So now you can lose. But so now you can gain. Wow. All right, Matt. Thanks for talking to me. All right, so we stay at the service pier. And Okay, folks, so uh, you stay watching Counter Diary. Like I told you, we are in West Point and uh, we've just reached to where they have the bathroom. We spoke to other people out there and they're telling us, you know, uh, here you have to pay money to take bath, to use the, you know, to ease yourself. You have to pay money. And uh, I've seen the place exactly. When you come here, you see, and a lot of children are here as well. But let me see if I can talk to the lady that is here. 
uh, uh, she would tell me, uh, but you come in here, this is what you see. Come in, let the camera show you. Uh, you have water here. Uh, these are all water in the pocket lined up. So let me, Ma, how are you? Okay, so let me talk to you one minute again. Sarah, let me talk to you. All right. All right, so what's your name? My name Angeline. Angeline. Angeline, you taking care of the place? The person that is going to be in charge. They're you in charge. So you hear now, you're you, you taking care of the place. So uh, when somebody wants to use the bathroom, how many can pay? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. To take back. The amount for the water? The high water, 20. Cool water, 10 dollars. High water, 20. Cool water, 10 dollars. Yeah. Uh, uh, when somebody wants to pay, how many can pay? Three. 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 Well, to, to go ease yourself, you got to pay ten dollars. All right, but how many people can carry every time we hear we think you got a place? Yeah, I'm not a people I can carry, but don't check the people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not a people I can carry, but don't check the amount of people I can carry. You have no people I can carry. But you can pay plenty of money. Yeah, we can get a report money. All right, thank you. But you, you put it on somebody? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. All right, thanks for talking to me. Yeah. Let me tell you the boss man is fresh water on the other side, and he said he know the history of the area. Uh, let me go to him. Boss man, how are you? Ah. Why are you please? My name is Abiton Atif. Abiton, Abiton. Atif. Atif, you are you going to take bar now? Yeah, I'm going to take my shower. Okay, so uh, you, you pay money to take bar or you all here? No, I pay money to take bar. How much are you pay? Turn out the water every day. Turn out every, every day? Yeah. But how long you been living here? I born here, I grew here, I know, live in the community before you. Oh, okay, so you say how life is that like, because I won't go to the bar and see the place I've been looking at. No, it's obvious, you know, mm -hmm. our people live in, uh, in the community, the, uh, the past history, mm -hmm. the build horses, now it touches what the buy from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we got the population in the community, some of them sell the build horse, they sell us pieces of the pieces of corn, not one room there, and for around 10 hours there. So, uh, you fire a lot of the wild, you know, so, and uh, we both have the female, and you know, all the, all the feces of the build there. Yeah. So, come around, it's a federal bringing out here on Korea, and uh, Senator is boring. Why, why are we any? Senator, what's Senator, we any? No, but we're already knowing for a quick senator, but around the phone. Okay. The federal bring the idea to bear the bathroom or whatever to that all care to all color the green. Okay, where they got yeah. the, the service beer, where they got the green? Yeah, 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 in a whole day. Huh. Yeah, green. So we bring the idea to bear the bathroom, the born on proficient uh, 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 and the honor criminal, honor criminal stuff is to put take by the water. They go take by, you know, the honor put the guys was a nest idea, so honor put the take the plumber to start being on a bathroom or water. It was sit there. Rudo. I be also the bathroom. I have no real way for you get used to it. Already, for any environment, the bathroom is not good for our health. Okay. Yeah, someone give our someone go get our horses and eat and call with Joseph and be up there. I want to come without money. I want to add a community. Yeah. Because you look around, two to many bathroom, you always spread a fashion on different sickness. So, what a message to the landlord? Because you say now you are telling me that they pay not good for you. Yeah. They, 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 they learn, they learn they, 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 for now, they don't have power to do anything. You got no space no there. Space. No space. I don't concern about the money. We call the money. And what's on a place is, is a business area. And they play good for our health. You expect we go take whatever order you come in and smoke over here. You can't sell. And it's for your eyesight. And somebody will play again. What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? Okay. All right, yeah. say your name again. Abidon Atif. Okay, Abidon, thanks for yeah. talking to me. So yeah. Abidon getting a water and Abidon going to use this player. So we're just uh, showing, sorry that we have some of our brothers that are already using the player. We're not going to be showing everywhere. Sorry, Chief. Huh? <laughs> My man. So we just see here, uh, this is where they have, like, I can't, let me go, just go closer a little bit. So we just uh, go closer to the bathroom. Uh, here you are, you see the bathroom. I'm not going to go in any of them, but this is how it looks like. And they have, when you come here, they have two places. I see men, I know, uh, uh, you see women on the other side. So I'm a man, I'll just show you the other side for the men. Uh, this is how the bathroom looks like. Come closer, let the, the camera come closer. And then uh, somebody is in the other one, but we just show you where this one, how this one looks in here. So this is where they take bath. So you come in here, I'm trying to see it up. So when you're taking bath here, the water just goes down directly on your, on, onto the, 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 the small lagoon that is here. And you have so many, um, this place seems to be like a toilet. This could be a toilet, right? You have toilet on the other side. Uh, then, uh, so, we just see these young men, they are coming there as well. They're going to use uh, uh, the, the, the bathroom as well. So you see, uh, my man, Appleton, is going to take one of the rooms to, 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 you know, to, to, to take back, uh, you know, to do your thing. Anyway, so thank you guys. Come, let's go outside. We'll just show you. And it is not just one person, you know. This place, like you said, the population is growing. And as the population grows, 
and more people come here to 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 use this area. And then uh, what I also see interesting here that you have these kids that are here. That the camera comes, the, the kids are also fishing here, and they've gotten some fish. And you see, my man, you fishing here? Mm -hmm. That's How many fish you not catch? You say fishing, yeah? <laughs> and uh, while the men fishing, my men also are doing a thing, you know. <laughs> so you can see the kids are there playing in the in the water. Uh, you can see from that side, and they still building more of the bar from here so that they can have play to eat themselves. It's been a great time being on the country gallery in West Point. We're showing exactly how West Point is made up. So if you watch this video and you love it, keep following us on YouTube. My name is Simano Kotu. Many thanks to uh, my producer Augustine Sa Bao for making this edition a success. This is Counter Diary. We are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. Keep watching.